Genesis 1, verse 27. So the Most High God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. I'm going to read it again. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I want to start off with giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the world who called Jesus Christ which is his only begotten son. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to you brothers to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And here, to, here today, you know, and I've been meaning to do a lesson on this a while back, but it just popped up, so I figured through the spirit I'll do it. That you have this madness. You have this madness being spread throughout the four corners of the earth because of Esau, Edom, and his power to let this madness go on. And for some reason or somehow, the world thinks that this type of filth and abomination is a type, is a type of accomplishment or an, an achievement to the sports world. And that being said, because if you read it, and I'll read it below, because this all this came came off of an article. It says transgender student fifteen, who has not undergone surgery or had hormone treatments, wins state track title after being allowed to compete as a girl. Now we know that the woman on the earth, they are naturally the weaker vessel. Okay, that's just the order how the Heavenly Father set it up. He set the man above the woman, and he set the woman to be the weaker vessel, okay? To not be as naturally strong as the man, to be more feminine, to be more soft, okay? Caring and all these different things like that. But for you to go and let these young men, even if they turn transgenders or not, you let these young men go compete with these women, the women don't stand a chance because why? They are the weaker vessel. All right. Now I'm not saying some. You do have some scenarios where you do have women that that do know how to fight and that could uh, whoop uh, uh, men's asses. Because I mean that has happened before a lot of few times in different uh, uh, men. Men do know about a woman beating up uh, males. But for the for the most part, uh, a male, a man, is naturally stronger than the woman. So to go and allow let these these young, well, used to be young men, go and compete with these young women, is outrageous and insane. Okay, how can that be considered equal? How can that even can be considered an accomplishment or an achievement? And for you, you you young, used to be young men, okay? You used to be young men. How can you feel that you accomplished a, a reward for being for beating women in wrestling matches, okay? Or in races? You should feel low, okay? But instead, you got so many spirits on you that you really think that you are a woman and it's supposed to be that way, and it's not, Okay? The Heavenly Father set everything up in a perfect order, in a perfect balance. He made a male, male, and he made a female, a female. To what? To bring forth, to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. To bring forth children. Okay? That's what a man and a woman is supposed to do. All right? The man is supposed to put that seed in a woman that they can bring forth child. All right? 
That's the natural order, and that's how things are supposed to be set up. But who do you have ruling? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that allows this filth, this perverseness, perverseness and this madness to go on through the earth. Okay? Which this causes confusion. Okay? This causes confusion. Second scripture. First Peter. First Peter. <clears throat> 3 verse 7 and it reads it says likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge speaking of the women giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered so your wife your woman she is naturally the weaker vessel vessel okay this is the, another reason why the man is over the woman okay you see this is the reason why so to allow this to go on <laughs> it's just it, it doesn't make sense all right and this is just complete madness for you as a young male to want to turn yourself into a woman, you have a lot of spirits on you, okay? And for this society to allow this to go on, it teaches the, the younger children confusion, okay? That's why young children don't know who is who anymore because now they start to see uh, men which, which still have their beards and, 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 and big hands and muscles. Now they got breasts, okay? Now they got a uh, long weave in their hair and lipstick and high heels, in the, in the attire which women wear. And then they see the women, the ones with long hair, or now they cut it. Or they see the ones that still have, you know, chest. Now they've got the saggy pants and, and Timberland boots and things like that. That's madness. You know, you're confusing the kids, but also you're teaching the kids that you can ultimately be wicked, okay? That you can ultimately go against the ways of the Heavenly Father. And the ways are not natural. All right, the ways are not natural. The ways are not normal, and to give up the uh, the way that you were meant to be, all right, is just completely off. Okay, just to be a young male and say uh, you want to be a woman, you want to have female body parts, and for the and for the woman to say I don't want to be a woman no more, I want to have man manly body parts, you know, just to switch positions. That's just Hey, that's confusion, and that's another re reason why the Lord has to judge this place. Okay? I got another one. Look at this, okay? Straight up dude with plaits in his hair. Chant wanna be dashiki. It says Andrea Year Yearwood, which his name was probably Andre, but he probably changed it to Andrea, just, you know, guessing. Also, a transgender girl came in second in the 100 meter dash. Right. You racing with women, but you thinking you did good because you beat a bunch of women. You don't get no accomplishment. You don't get no reward for that. You know? You don't get no props, as they say in the world. You don't get no credit. Because naturally, you're a dude. Now, look at this. Transitive team, Terry Miller, set a, a record. Like, you're going in these races... Uh, these dashes and these these different sports events facing girls, okay, or young women, and you're actually winning, but you think you're doing something which you can get credit for, and you don't get no credit, okay? That's just like a man, you know, bragging about beating up a girl, which we know the man is naturally stronger than a woman, so you don't get no credit for that shit, okay? You don't get no credit. And that's why this post says, it says, uh, I don't know how to say the names, but it says, I think it's unfair to, to the girls who work really hard to do well and qualify for the Open in New England's uh, Glastonbury sophomore, Selena Soul told the Hartford, Hart, Hartford Courant. And she's right. That shit is unfair. Okay? That doesn't make sense how you, you let someone that is just naturally stronger, no matter if you're changing their hormones and things like that, they are still men. 
Okay, even if they uh, get female body parts and, and cut off their, uh, you know, their private parts that they once naturally were born with, they're still going to have that 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 these things as men. Okay, they're still going to have a, a like almost like the attributes. Okay, that that manly strength, if you will. And this is completely off, and it's against nature. And let's get a. Uh, uh, Romans 1 verse 24 says, uh, I'll start at 23, it says, let me see, I'll start at 24, it's lock here. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, which this is the lust of your own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto the vile infections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And what's a woman's use? A woman's use is to bear children, okay? That is a woman's use to bear children. And even in the ancient world, it was uh, a woman was ashamed if she couldn't bear a child. Now women uh, glorify not bearing any children, you know. Now we know uh, things have to do with oppression and things like that, and not having enough money and thing, and all those different things that tie that's against uh, against us, Israelites. Okay, you still call Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But if you watch how women brag and glorify about not having children, they don't know in the ancient world their ancestors that was a shameful thing not to have uh, for or for the women of our. Nation not to have children, man. Okay? They wanted children. You know, but, you know, that's a different time frame as well. But it says, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Right. To be a woman, okay? To be uh, what she was made to do. You know? Serve her man. All right? Please her, please, you know, please her husband. Take care of her children. You know, run the household. You know, verse 27, it says, And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lusts one towards another, men with men working with that, that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their arrow, which was meat. You see, so they left their natural use from dealing with women, okay, putting that seed in them to what? Land with other men. Doing things which was unseemly, sticking your, uh, you know, your private area into a, a, a exit hole, all right, or or the madness that you guys get into. That that's that's unseemly, okay. And that's why the Lord is going to judge you heavy for it. Verse twenty eight it says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, right, because. Y'all don't mind uh, what the Heavenly Father wants. Y'all mind and, and burn off the lust and do the things which y'all want to do. So what? The Heavenly Father gave you up for it. It says, And God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. You see? Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, and malignity, malignity, Malignity and whispers, but the point I wanted to get was being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, and wickedness. And this is all unrighteousness, okay? This is unrighteous. This is wicked for a young male to change to be a woman and for a woman to change and be a wom a man. All right? Calling yourself a, a transgender. There's no such thing as a transgender, all right? That's, that's completely off. The Lord made male and female. That's just the order. Anything else besides that is off. All right? It's off. Let's get one more scripture and close out because you you, you, you people doing this madness, hey, y'all going to be destroyed. Okay? Y'all going to be destroyed. Let's get uh, uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 1. And that's why uh, y'all... 
which to commit this act cannot enter into the congregation. Let's get it. Deuteronomy 23 verse 1 it says, He that is wounded in the stones or have his privy, or have his privy member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. So you can't enter the congregation of the Lord. You cut your rod off, man. Okay? Then you get a uh, get surgery and you get a flap and all that to make it look like you have a JJ. Man, that's, that's just wicked, man. That's just wicked, man. But who allows this filthy filth to go on throughout the earth? Esau ate him. And he even promotes and gives them support and grants just to... Uh, just to do these transgender surgeries. Why? Because he's trying to destroy Israel. Okay? He's trying to destroy Israel in each way he can possibly. You know? To take out the males. Well, they don't want no men. Uh, they, want, they don't want no men of our nation, alright? That's why they're too busy using all these different uh, agendas. Through the mu music, the media, the entertainment. To turn all the men of our nation, or what they can, feminine, okay, or or, or homosexual, all right, yeah, that's what they their whole plan is, you know. But hey, man, this 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 type of filthiness, this can't go on, man. This can't go on, all right. You know, and and, and who do you have back in? This madness of the most, hey, you Israelite women. You Israelite women. First and foremost, mainly you black women, man. We see you black women the most hanging with these these, these, these walking abominations. But also you Latino women is right behind them. So that's why I said you Israelite women as a whole. In a whole as a whole, Salakia. And, and, and all you people to justify this madness and carry on with it, guess what? You, you, you're putting yourself in a position as the same lot against the Heavenly Father because you allow uh, this madness, all right? You, 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 uh, you partially partake in it, even though it's not yourselves on it, but you still you justify it, okay? You make it seem as it is a good thing and it's okay and that there's nothing wrong with it. But this is for you. We'll close out. Uh, Proverbs 17, verse 15, it says, He that justifies the wicked and he that condemn, condemn of the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. So if you are not against homosexuals, okay, lesbian, lesbianism, lesbianisms, okay, transgenders, all these different things that uh, uh, offend the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai that's contrary to the scriptures, hey, you're an abomination as well, okay? If you justify this wickedness, okay, all this, this, this filth, Walking through the earth, okay. That you think this thing, these type of acts, these abominable acts are okay. You are an abomination to the Lord as well, okay. Because there is no uh, plan in the middle, all right. There's the ways of Yah Bashim and there's ways of the world, and this equals the ways of the world, and the ways of the world equal 